Hi guys! Today I want to show you what we've done about kitchen because you've been asking how we are doing. it's not so technically as you can see it's not done yet and uh, I'm going to explain why and I'm going to tell you some prices for uh, for the kitchen so you'll know the um, average numbers here so as you can see um, floors are done and um, we moved sink from that wall to the window and um, just to put um, all these drains and everything to this window and to set up all plumbing connection cost us uh, $1,600. It's $1,600. And this was discount price because we didn't pay HST for this price. And um, as you can see, it's not done yet. We don't have connection yet, but price is included. As soon as we have our dishwasher, this is place for dishwasher, as soon as we have it, we'll, um, uh, we'll ask this plumber guy to come here and just set up all connections. But we don't have a um, nice faucet here, so we're still looking for it. The main... Um, that's how it looks on that side. The main part why we are not done. You might ask, oh, okay, it took so long and it's better to have it done. As you can see, this part is empty here what does it mean this is supposed to be stove here or range and uh, this part of cabinets already set and it's um it's already to go to use but this part is movable and why i'm going to explain you why because this difference here uh 36 inches and i'm looking currently for the stove or range uh, with 36 inches and uh, it's pretty hard to find them first of all because it's high and uh, stoves they are more professional than regular ones and they're pretty expensive um, they cost more than uh, five thousand uh, dollars new ones of course you can tell why you won't uh, put um, like smaller one of course i can i can put smaller one i can use 30 inches up to here and we can move this cabinet over there uh, because we do have countertop and it's covered up to there so we can cut it in the middle but uh, the worst part we have to build um, some um, cabinet here on top so it will be even and we have to build something here so I'm trying to find first if I can find of course 36 inches tall and um, if I can't I'll take some time by the end of the summer and if I can't find of course I have to put 30 inches tall there but for now I'm not giving up hopefully I can find it and um, then we can finish this part of the kitchen here we're not sure what we wanted to put because that's all cabinets that we have let me remind you that we got this kitchen and it was already pre-made it was in a new uh, house from the builder and um, people decided to um, put new kitchen they just didn't like um, this one because this was pretty simple uh, and um, that's how we got it and it was exactly the same layout and the same shape that we have so it was much easier for us to set up and uh, uh, I'm planning to put some uh, shelves here like maybe one shelf here and open some space from counter to here so I can put mixer, kitchenette or um, my blender there and of course we're going to replace the um, uh, fridge because I don't like this fridge uh, it's too small and I want to have a stainless steel one 
So far, uh, by the price point, uh, this kitchen, we paid 5,000 for this kitchen and uh, honestly it was still, it was very cheap price for the kitchen because it's real wood, it's not thermofoil or it's like it's not cheap materials, it's pretty expensive and um, uh, this is real um, granite countertops that's why this price was was nothing honestly and um, uh, that was the price for kitchen itself for the renovation as i mentioned already we paid 1600 just to move sink from one wall to another and uh, also we changed the floors um, we were lucky enough guys who came here to pick up our old kitchen they took the floor in as well so we didn't pay for demolishing and all that stuff so um, the only expense we had um, for the flooring and we paid two thousand and one hundred dollars for the materials only and this is engineering hardwood this is by the way boxes from it if someone is um, interested uh, we still have them because it's not done and we still uh, will have some um, guys coming here with tools and doing renovation so um, the name of the floor let me see how what is that this is hickory silver mink s and um, we're really happy with the color although it's uh, darker than it was in the um, uh, store but I'm, I'm still very happy with it it's not that dark and it's not that light so hopefully it will work out perfectly uh, so that was expense for the um, flooring uh, we had our friends over and they help us with uh, putting floors and um, um, our friend helped us to put a uh, kitchen here and um, uh, as you can see it's not done yet we still have to put a lot of stuff we have to decide what to do with this we have to put it up and then we have to do something here because we have empty space here and uh, of course we have to buy a uh, faucet uh, hood range um, fridge and we have to fix this part on the ceiling and uh, actually it's a lot of work and we have to put backsplashes as you can see it's <laughs> it looks terrible right now but I'm very happy because we get in there and I really like this part and uh, because it's going to look amazing when we're done compared to what we had of course and I just want to show you one more uh, room that we had here if you remember it was um, creepy room I called it <laughs> creepy room because we didn't have any walls and uh, um, only concrete here and um, we uh, we had it done like we put walls we put drywall and um, uh, we put tiles here and uh, all that stuff and for just for this room and Serge is going to paint it by himself he did already one wall and I really like the color so we're going to keep it on um, all walls and uh, we're going to replace light fixtures of course and we, uh, we have to find the perfect door because I didn't like old one and um, we paid for this uh, 1400 something it was closer to 1500 uh, just for this room to have it done and we have only a dryer here washer is still upstairs because again we have to uh, find nice sink and uh, make all connections here and uh, we paid uh, $400 for um plumber to do job on his side here and again when we're done on our end he's going to come and and uh finish all connections here so that that's all about um our expenses right now and um, uh, we'll keep you posted bye